All right, we back. Boxing Clinic and more. You know we do more than boxing. Talking about the NFL new protest rule. Um, and, you know, basically they're giving the players the option to um, stay in the locker room or come out for the national anthem. And the reason they won't go back to keeping the players in the locker room for the national anthem is as simple as the armed forces paid them money to have the players come out to the field. So it's all about money. And this is one of the few rule changes that they did do. And if you want to hear about some more, uh, the ones they other did, uh, I'll explain to you at the end of the video what they are, uh, or at least one of them are. And uh, you go research it for yourself. But, um, you know, if players do come out and stand, you know, choose to stand for the national anthem and they need, uh, it's up to the, it's the team's discretion how they want to penalize the player or, um, you know, whatever they want to do with them. So if you do go out there, they expect you to stand for the anthem. And if you go out there and, and, and think you're going to pull some fuck shit by then, um, they got some hot shit for you. They want to penalize you, fine you, suspend you, whatever whatever they want they they want to do for you. So only way that shit going to work, if you get your whole team to go out there and need with you, then they're going to have to penalize the whole team and suspend the whole team, which ain't going to happen. So, but we already see the NFL – it ain't no brotherhood for real, man. You know, them them clowns didn't support. Uh, the majority of the league didn't kneel for Kaepernick, but they kneeled because of what Donald Trump said. They couldn't support a fellow football brother and um, stand together. And that's why they had never win against the owners. They had never win against the owners. Because at the end of the day, they know they got a, a potential lockout coming. They know that the NFL is going to take the larger – slice of the pie, the white ties, the white collars is going to take the larger slice of the pie and going to get them scraps again and still keep giving them these uh these un these not guar fully guaranteed contracts, okay? You know, they know that's coming, you know. And you think any of these guys saving their money up for 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 uh for a lockout? No. These guys do living paycheck to paycheck like most average Americans, you know, that's making 12, 15, 17, 20 dollars an hour is. They still live in paycheck to paycheck, you know. Even they know a lockout coming, they know they're gonna get the raw uh, end of a deal again. But what, what what makes me what makes me cringe the most is how everybody kneeled for for Donald Trump, but didn't want to kneel and stand for Colin Kaepernick. How everybody knew what Colin Kaepernick was doing for the better better good uh, uh society and against police brutality, but nobody wanted to stand out and, and, and kneel and reach out and help that brother out. But all of a sudden, Trump say something, everybody want to kneel down. I'm trying to tell you, bro, a lot of these dudes is fake. Cam Newton, you know, he supposed to be the one doing what Kaepernick doing and supporting Kaepernick because he's kind of like the face of the, of the almost the NFL at this point. You know, he done been MVP. He done been big shot, been to the Super Bowl, and, and he playing both sides. He, he's protecting his, what's his name, Jerry Richardson, the former Panthers owner that did sexual conduct and did racist stuff. He's still defending that man. You know what I'm saying? It's just how it is. You can't get the support from from players that that you go out there and put your life with, put your life on the line with, and you grind and sweat with, and you make millions with. Who can you put your, you know, who can you count on to support you out there? And at the end of the day, dog, I got a lot of less respect for the NFL, and I can't tell nobody that's 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 pro that's protesting the NFL not to. At this point, you gotta protest this shit, man. This this is a terrible product right now. It's not that the pro that the product the, the the product tees is terrible, man. You know they they can't sit together for nothing, for nothing. But how do I feel about the rule? It's censorship still. It still find a way to still get the money from the armed forces, and, and kind of try to you know make people happy. Or oh, you can just stay in the locker room because they lost a lot of fans by this last year. They alienated the black people by. By 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 not letting Kaepernick get a job, and, and now they, they alienating, you know, they uh, alienating Eric Reed, okay, and then you know, the Steelers and everybody kneel against Trump, and people say, oh, they're 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 protesting the the anthem. They they I don't like the protest against that. They're disrespecting the flag. They're disrespecting the flag. And ain't no most people with common sense know ain't nobody disrespecting that flag. They knew that. They just I'm just saying it's just, you know, Donald Trump fucked up a lot of shit, to be honest. But like I said before, man, people got family to feed and you know, people don't don't have the courage that the Black Panthers had, that Ali had, that Jack Johnson had, that that you know, Huey Newton had. A lot of these black Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, 
a lot of these guys don't have that courage, man. And with this mentality that people are showing with this weak, soft shit, you know, that they showing out here, man. You know, a lot of these dudes, still, a lot of us, it will, shit, we will all still be in slavery if everybody had this mentality way back when. And I think a lot of people lost their way and lost what the what was standing for pride and was standing up for what's right is. But the NFL did what they had to do. It's a shitty rule. You know, it's not the worst case scenario. At least they gave my option. You can sit in the, in, the, in, the, in the locker room or you can come out and stand for the national anthem. You know, we'll see what the results is, man. A lot of people still going to come out and stand because you got sponsorships, you got brands, you know. they still going to be encouraged to go out there. I guarantee you, the owner might come out, all you motherfuckers better go out there and stand. I don't care what the rules say. You know that's going to happen. A lot of these guys are going to be forced to go out there on the sideline. It's business. And sometimes in business, you got to do shit you don't like just to make that money coming in. But the NFL is, is NFL, I, I couldn't predict they, they nose fall or they downfall about five to seven years ago. But all the all the shit they doing, they took away the kick. They they trying to eliminate the kickoff. Now you can't get a run, running start on the kickoff. Now you can't. They took away the wedge. Now you can't do the two man wedge. Now people got to stay in zones. NFL is 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 definitely his own worst enemy. They trying to protect against that concussions. All you got to do is make these guys sign a waiver. You know you know what you getting into. I mean, you're going to sign it or not. You're going to play in the NFL. Everybody know what you, you, the, the awareness of, of concussions and, and injuries in the NFL. You can, a baby can watch it and tell you that you can get injured like that with athletes getting bigger, stronger, and faster. Just make these guys sign the confidentiality agreement or a consent form, knowing if you perform this act and you play this sport, what can happen to you. And if you don't sign it, you ain't got to play in the league. Go make your money somewhere else. It's as simple as that. You know, instead of just trying to water down the game and make it worse. But let me know what y'all think. TBC and more, we gone.